Here we have a 2021 GMC Sierra 1500. This one comes in the AT4 trim level. And it's also a Carbon Pro, so it has that Carbon Pro composite bed, which we'll get to in a second. But this one comes in Summit White on jet black with Kalahari accent perforated leather. And that powertrain consists of a three liter Duramax turbo diesel engine made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And as we come to the front end there, of course you have your red recovery hooks, LED headlamps, daytime running lights, as well as fog lights. Then down here, you have your 18 inch off-road AT4 aluminum wheels on your Goodyear Wrangler tires. You have passive keyless entry on all four doors. And you have your controls here for your power door locks, windows, mirrors, as well as power folding mirrors with your blind spot monitors. And then with this one being the 84 premium package, you also have that Bose sound system along with several other features, which we'll get into here. There are your four wheel drive controls, headlamp controls. You have your heads up display controls there. And here's your power driver seat with power lumbar support. So to the rear seat, really good room back here, of course, this being a crew cab, plenty of leg room. I'm 6'3", and I'm able to sit in the seat in front of me as well as the seat I'm in now. And then down here, you have your three-stage rear heated seats, and then you have a USB and USB-C charging port. Well, I got that backwards, USB-C and USB charging port. And then you have a 12 volt along with your AC vents. And there's a view of the front from back here. And you have your LED dome lights, clothes hangers. Let's check out that Carbon Pro bed. And there's that rear end there. So as you can see, this is even sturdier than your regular spray and bed liner. Just really, really good material here. Keep it from scratching anything up. And then you also get an included kicker sound system with your Carbon Pro. So two speakers there and then your controls here. And then you can also plug in something with your aux or USB play something from these speakers as well and there's your power passenger seat with your power lumbar support as well It's a gorgeous truck. Let's check out that Duramax. So there's a three liter Duramax diesel engine. As we hop in the driver's seat, have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel that's heated. Feels really nice in my hands right now because it's so cold outside. And then over here we have the AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio, which I have hooked up here. There's your navigation system. Of course, you can set up where home is as well as just type in the address there. You have a Wi-Fi hotspot, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 
You can pull up your climate there and then control it from down here, which is dual zone automatic climate control. And then there's your backup camera. You got your curbside cameras, your 360s. But most importantly, you have the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you're able to pull up your maps there, your music, and then it's your standard view there. So really nice to have that. And then down here, you have your three-stage heated cooled seats. And then you have your lane keep assist, your parking sensors, your auto stop toggle, your tailgate, which you can let down from up here. And you also have your three-prong household plug-in, more USB ports, 12 volt trailer brake controller, and a huge wireless charging pad for just about any phone. Additional cup holders here. And really huge center console storage here with more USB ports and aux input than your SD card reader for your navigation. And up here you have your controls for your universal home remote, your power rear window, as well as your sunroof. So there's the roof there. And while that's sliding up, there's the power rear window. Just a nice look at that stitch AT4 in the headrest. I really like how they did that. But here you have your glove compartment with your owner's manuals. Additional storage up here. And here you have your controls for your adaptive cruise, your forward collision alert gap adjust, and then your Bluetooth controls over here and you can go through your gauge cluster using this here. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, you can control your track list controls as well as your radio favorite controls. And then over here on the right side, behind the steering wheel, you can control your volume. I'm gonna zoom in here, get a look at that heads up display. You have several different views for that. I like this one, we're gonna leave that up. And then you have your push button start. And finally, there's your key fob with remote start. So next we're gonna go ahead and take this Sierra 1500 AT4 out on the road for a test drive. So right off the bat, even though it's cold outside, a really good sound from the powertrain in general. The engine just sounds so great. Really good acceleration. So far, ride quality is not that bad with this being an off-road truck. Gonna give it just a little throttle here. And really good help coming from the turbos, just helping you get up to speed. Just like the regular Duramaxes, the turbos really do come in handy. But I have the adaptive cruise on now.
and after this vehicle gets from in front of me it's gonna speed up to the speed I told it to and it's just so great to have that feature in a full-size pickup especially if you're pulling a camper going on long road trips it's so nice to have adaptive cruise control And even though these are off-road tires, not loud at all. And there's the auto stop that just cut on. And the 10-speed automatic really does a good job pairing with this engine. You don't have hesitation when you're giving it throttle. Even though it has 10 speeds, it does a really good job at finding that perfect point to make sure that you get the most out of whatever you're trying to do. And whether that's save gas, get boost, whatever. the adaptive cruise on now it's keeping that safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me and as I get closer to this vehicle it's ever so slightly slowing me down to keep that safe distance And coming down this back road, just really, really great. The engine is revving ever so slightly, just a little above a thousand RPMs. And I'm getting 35 instant miles to the gallon. It's coming down this back road, so really nice. And just really a comfortable seating position. I'm able to see over the hood, sitting up really high. So I shouldn't say really high, but sitting just high enough to feel like I'm on top of the world without being, you know, crazy. It's just a two inch lift. And with all that being said, that's gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Sierra 1500 HE4 Carbon Pro.